described as improperly throwing a piece of trash on the ground in water or just throwing it not where it's supposed to be in the trash or recycling it properly. Um, for example, I have this video showing. Last year, the U.S. alone used over 39 billion plastic bottles of water. That's enough to stretch around the earth over 190 times. Each Brita filter can take up to 300 of those bottles out of the equation. It's a small step that can make a big difference. Okay, so besides the great value of the Brita water filters that we're talking about, this commercial can put into perspective just how much trash we as Americans and people around the world use. It's important for us to understand the consequences of littering because it affects us. It affects our health, it affects our safety, it affects us financially, and it can hit us economically too. Um, as for being credible to speak on this topic, I had about a nice week to uh, prepare for, to, to prepare and research the effects and consequences of littering. Um, I'm not going to lie out before. Before I did research on this, I was a chronic litterer, like I would throw stuff out my window, but when I chose a topic and started to research more into what it actually did to the rest of the world, I tried to I tried to throw more things away. I, I recycled a couple water bottles here and there, and I just tried to all around become more environmentally aware of what uh, what the little thing that I was doing would actually uh, go do in, in terms of the future of the world and the future of my children, because I do plan on having children in so X amount of years, and I don't want them growing up in a, a dirty environment, you know. So, in New Hampshire, littering is a misdemeanor charge, but it can come up to with a fine of over two, under $2,000, and maybe even up to one year of imprisonment. We don't want that because we're college kids now, and you know, a big heavy fine is one thing we want to avoid. Nobody paying their tuition right now can just take two thousand dollars out of their pocket for something as simple as just you know throwing a gum wrapper or a plastic water bottle out the window. Um, the United States spends about eleven point five billion dollars a year on trying to clean up litter around America, which is eleven point five billion dollars that we could be using to do other things such as build homes. Um, build electrical wires, feed the hungry, things like that. Nobody wants to pay for anybody else's mess, and it's just something that really shouldn't happen. Instead of littering, oh. so litter can also affect animal life because animals see litter on the ground. They don't really know what it is. They might try to eat it. They might get caught in it. You've seen, you've probably seen like in a cartoon or just pictures of the little eight packs of beer with fish head stuck in it, you know, it can asphyxiate the it can asphyxiate animals, it can cause them to choke to death, things like that. Um things like elastic bands, plastic bands, empty cans are things that get improperly thrown away that we should learn wait, scratch that. Alright, alright, alright. Things like glass, elastic bands, plastic bands, and empty cans are examples of things that get improperly thrown away every day that can be avoided if we were to just throw them away properly. One of the most common things nowadays that people improperly throw away is cigarettes. Cigarettes have nasty chemicals in them such as such as ammonia, lead, and I don't know how to really pronounce that. Yeah, ammonia, lead, something like anesthetic. Um, when it rains, cigarette butts can flow into like lakes and water. Like we use Lake Massabesic for drinking water, and there's people probably discarded so many cigarettes. And when it rains, they, it flows into there. All these toxins get into the water, which we eventually, hopefully, most of it gets filtered out. But who knows? Some of it could even come through your faucet. <sighs> to put into perspective just how big litter can get. You could take into example something called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is um, it's basically a collection of debris in between North America and Japan, which is a big vortex spinning around with its with just you know litter and debris and things that shouldn't be there, non biodegradable things that like such as plastic bags or things like that that don't really decompose. They just 
break up into littler pieces and they float around until until they are you know, properly properly recycled. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Okay.